And bam! So there we go, I finally made it to level 50 and I've started the endgame progression grind, which so far has been very fun. Now I haven't finished the story yet, there is from what I can tell a plenty of story to go, but that's apparently normal, you usually hit level 50 before you finish the story. Especially if, like me, you want to take your time, because you know, you can only play through the game for the first time once, so you might as well enjoy it as much as you can. So I wasn't just doing the main story, which is something you can do from what I here because the story is apparently tuned so that as you finish the story even if you don't do any side quests or side content you should be level 50 by the end of it. Now the endgame progression seems relatively straightforward to me, though I wouldn't necessarily call it simple because there's a ton of systems and mechanics that you need to learn about and the game will explain them as you get to level 50 and it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. But as far as I know, right now what it boils down to is you hit level 50, you can do the bottom tier of content where you get some gear and you upgrade it which allows you to go into a higher tier of content where you get some gear and you upgrade it and you basically just keep going up and up and up. Now I'm of course still very new to this, I only managed to ding 50 yesterday or maybe on Friday, so two days ago, so I've only really done two rotations of the end game, and I'm at item level 340 which is basically the first tier of gear that's upgraded twice. This allows me to do a slightly higher tier of content so I can do a higher tier of chaos dungeons than the ones you start with once you're level 50 and you get your basic set of gear and I can also fight the second boss. And these bosses, which you find inside of Guardian Raids, are probably my favorite thing about Lost Ark that I've done so far. You basically have 20 minutes, you're fighting this big ass boss that has a huge health bar, does good damage, so you need to actually dodge it or he's gonna flatten you. And I can't get enough of it. And it also feels particularly good on the Paladin because it feels like my party can be a little bit cockier since I provide a ton of shields, some healing and a ton of buffs so they don't have to be as scared of the boss and they can take some extra damage. Because inside the kills dungeons you can't actually use potions from what I can tell, you just can't heal with healing potions and you also only have 3 revives per boss which is kind of neat. It basically makes it so that you can't just, you know, face plant into the boss over and over and over again until it dies or you run out of time. Now one thing that I kind of want to get out of the way is the question that's been asked many times on the previous video and that is Lost Ark pay to win and it is if you consider World of Warcraft pay to win as well because it's kind of the same thing. There is a premium currency that you can buy with real money and you can exchange that for the in-game currency and with that in-game currency you can then progress your character so it's as I've said just like the WoW token right you buy the WoW token with money you exchange that for gold and then you buy stuff with gold. So depending on your definition of pay to win yes Lost Ark can very much be be considered pay to win but for me personally the game is too good for it to matter to me. Now don't get me wrong, I still don't like that games are doing this kind of stuff, I mean WoW is doing it, Guild Wars 2 is doing it, Even you can even do it in ESO even though it's a little bit more complicated because of the way the store works. But you know, as I've said already, it's not a big enough deal for me, plus I also feel like it would just spoil the fun, I would much rather go through dungeons and fight big bosses and have fun than just take out my credit card and buy all that. That just doesn't sound like fun. Now one thing I absolutely adore about this game is that it just doesn't give a shit. Western games recently have been very tame, a lot of them, because they try not to offend anyone and just try being as inclusive as possible, and it's resulted in some very mediocre games at best. Lost Ark just doesn't care. Just look at Adeline, right? My stronghold butler. Now you might think I, and many other people, like Adeline because of her stiletto heels, ridiculously long legs, a stupidly high up miniskirt, but that's not the case. Adeline is best girl. Adeline is just butler extraordinaire. She's fantastic. What I like about this is that the game's not weird about Adeline, right? The devs wanted a sexy butler, so they freaking put in a sexy butler. It's not like, and by the way, here's your butler. Winky winky. No, it's just like, hey, this is Adeline. She's your butler. Enjoy. Now that's not to say that I specifically look for this kind of stuff in games because I very much don't. It's actually one of the reasons I didn't get Cyberpunk was because of this, right? I looked at it and I was like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. This feels a little bit too much for me. Which I guess was the point of the game, right? So it was done well, but yeah. I don't like it when it feels forced in games and when you can, you know, almost feel the developer's sleazy hands running down the character's back, but also on the other hand, I also don't like it when games feel sterile, right? Like they're forcibly censored by fear. So I like that Lost Ark just doesn't give a damn, they do their own thing and they do it well. So basically it just feels nice to play a game that isn't restricted in what it can do. Next topic, boat. I didn't even know this was a thing, but 
you can sail on a boat. It's actually the main way you get from A to B. The biggest thing for me here was that it wasn't half assed the way I expected it to be. You actually like collect crew members and you assemble your own crew and there is stuff to do while you're sailing around. You're not just going from point A to point B. There are quests that you can do and most importantly islands. You can go to different islands and they have different things on them. It's actually one of the end game activities from what I hear to go to these islands and collect upgrade materials for your gear. And that is very cool, it just feels different. I like it. And also, if you're not interested in sailing around and doing that kind of stuff, there is also an auto route option, so you can simply click on a point on a map and the ship will sail there on its own. I love this kind of stuff because it just feels like something the developers put in because they thought it would be very cool. This game is just full of surprises and that's what I think I like about it the most. It's just an MMO that's different to a lot of the other MMOs that are out there. And I'm not the only person that feels this way, it's averaging about 1 million players on Steam every day. It's so popular in fact that before they split the European region into Europe and West Europe, it was almost unplayable during prime time. Basically the servers would fill up at around 2 o'clock, so there was no way you were logging in straight away, you would have to wait in a queue and a lot of the time these were pretty chunky, like we're talking 5-6k people in front of you. But that wasn't the worst part, because by around 5 o'clock the queues would fill up as well, so you would try to boot the game, the game would load, then you would get an error message that basically said, oi, the queue is full and you would get kicked back to desktop. I don't think I've ever seen that, like so many people trying to log in, they actually fill the queue and it breaks. To their credit though, they did fix it pretty fast, I don't think I've been in a queue for the last few days and the player numbers haven't gone down. So yeah, Lost Ark is just really fun, I've been enjoying it an awful lot and I would highly recommend you give it a try as well, it's free to play and it is on Steam, so there is no reason to not try it out. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.